my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloyTutors.com and welcome to this video on converting units. So this video is so, so important because you need to know how to convert units in chemistry. They're everywhere, so you need to be able to be converting um, mainly volume, but I'm gonna show you how we get to these numbers, but you need to know how to convert, for example, centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed and things like ideal gas equations, um, so meters to meters cubed. You need to know how to convert centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed in um, titrations uh, and vice versa. They might give you something in decimeters cubed and say, right, well, I need to work it out in centimeters cubed. It's not quite as common, but who knows, they could ask that. So this video is very quick, and it's just gonna show you how to work it out and, and where we get the numbers from. Because you might see divide by a thousand, and you think, well, why do I divide by a thousand? So there is logic behind it, I'm gonna show you it. Okay, so we've got these different units here. We have, um, we, this is just gonna be 1D, so, um, not one direction, but it's going to be one dimension, and this is going to be the length. Now we all know, we know what a centimeter is, cent meaning century, as in like a hundred years, so centimeter means a hundredth of a meter, that's what centimeter means. And decimeter, you wouldn't have really heard of it, but if you go and ask somebody in the street and say what's a decimeter, they wouldn't have a clue what it is, and not surprising, it's not really used, but in chemistry we use the volume decimeters cubed. Deci meaning ten, like decade. So decimeter is a tenth of a meter. So, um, and you can see, obviously if I, obviously a ruler is probably a good, a good prop for this one. And you can see obviously there we've got a centimeter. Uh, a decimeter is basically just up to there, which is 10 centimeters. So a decimeter or the length of a decimeter is that. That's it, pretty simple. And obviously there's 10 of them in a meter because a meter is 100 centimeters. So that's why we call it a decimeter. So, and then obviously the meter is, is the full length. Now, how we convert this is pretty straightforward to be honest. Um, let's pick up on the red pen. So to turn, to go from centimeters to decimeters, all we do is we divide by 10. And to go from decimeters to meters, we divide by 10 as well. Okay, so we're dividing as we go along. Obviously the meter is a lot bigger, so we have to make it smaller. There's less decimeters than there are meters, so we're dividing by 10. Um, now if we wanted to go, say for example, if we wanted to go from centimeters all the way to meters, all we do is we just add up the zeros. So this is gonna be divide by 100 instead. So it's as simple as that. Obviously if we go in the other way, um, we'll pick up on the blue. So if I'm going that way, then that's gonna be multiplied by 10. So going from meters to decimeters, and if I'm going from decimeters to centimeters, that one's multiplied by 10 as well. Okay, right, so then if we just look at a different one, so we know obviously that's, that's for length, that's just a one direction. Um, one direction, one dimension, oh my word, right. And this is 2D, um, so 2D is, the, um, is an area, so we're just gonna, uh, write this back in again, so centimeters squared, dm squared, and meters squared. So all we've done is we've put the little power on the top, and the power says that obviously we've got two dimensions. This is 2D, we have a length and a width, okay? So when we're converting them, um, it's exactly the same thing, um, except for every dimension, for every extra dimension we have, um, we have to add an extra zero onto it. So for example, this was a one dimension. So we had a little one there. In maths, we don't normally put to the power of one because it just means the same as without the power of one. But this is divided by 10 going from centimeters to decimeters. So going from centimeters squared to decimeters squared, that's gonna be divided by 100. We add an extra zero for every dimension. And again, going that way, that's gonna be divided by 100 as well. Okay, if we're going um, from centimeters squared all the way to meters squared, then again what we do is we divide, but this time we have four zeros. We have two there and two there, and we literally just add them up. So that's gonna be divide by 10,000. If we're going from centimeters squared to meters squared. Okay, and then going backwards, it's exactly the same thing. So um, this is obviously, except we're gonna multiply if we're going the other way. So that's going to be multiplied by 100, and then that one is going to be multiplied by 100 as well. And again, if we want to go from meters squared to centimeters squared, that'll be multiplied by 10,000. So it's the same thing. Okay, the most important thing this is the uh, volume. Obviously, this is what we're using in chemistry quite a lot. So um, 
Let's just put this on here. Obviously, we know volumes are in cubed this time. So we've got three dimensions. Decimeters cubed, meters cubed. Okay, so we've got the little three on there. Again, for every dimension, we have to add another zero. So, and you might be able to see it now. So going from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, we now divide by a thousand. Going from decimeters cubed to meters cubed, we're also dividing by a thousand. Okay, we're adding an extra zero on because we've got an extra dimension. Okay, uh, if we're going, say, from centimeters cubed all the way to meters cubed, for example, like going into, um, if you're using the ideal gas equation, um, you effectively have to divide by a million to convert centimeters cubed into meters cubed. We'll add the, that zero and that zero, and we get to um, we get to a million. So we've got six zeros in total. Okay, this is really important because it's very often that you have to convert centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed, uh, especially in titrations. And so, obviously, to do that, you divide by a thousand, and that's why we put that on there. Obviously, going the other way is exactly the same, um, except this time we're going to multiply instead. So going backwards, going this way, it's going to be multiplied by a thousand. And then going that way, it's going to be multiplied by a thousand. Again, if you needed to, for whatever reason, if you needed to convert meters cubed into centimeters cubed, all you do is you just multiply by a million and then you get the, the right answer there. But that's why um, we divide by a thousand from going centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. That's it. Bye bye.